Well, welcome to the final round. An interesting finding from a new congressional watchdog survey. The government sending coronavirus stimulus checks to more than a million people uh, who have died, totaling nearly 1.4 billion. And Rick Newman, I know you've uh, looked into this story for us. And it's interesting. I guess my big question is, how is this possible? It's very possible because the Treasury sent these checks out to people who filed either a 2018 or 2019 tax return. <clears throat> and since those people filed their taxes, some people have died since then. And, and they did not cross check the list of people who filed a tax return with Social Security records, which include death records. So they did not capture people who died uh, between filing their last tax return either in 2018 or 2019. And I got to tell you, I think we're going to find a lot more stories like this of uh, money that either was fraudulently sent out or mistakenly sent out. And uh, the reason is this just happened so fast. And, uh, there, you know, there were people who were involved in the TARP bailout, oversight of the TARP bailout back in 2008-09, uh, who were saying this time around, look, you, you kind of just have to make a trade off if you want to get this money into the economy fast you're just gonna to have to tolerate uh, some of this money is gonna to go to the wrong place. So you can either do this slowly uh, and get it more right, or you can do it really fast, which is the point, and tolerate uh, you know, kind of, a, kind of a margin for error. And Rick, real quick, I guess then it's safe to say that if we do see another round of direct uh, stimulus payments that we will likely see some more uh, mishaps as well. I think I, th I think so. I mean, you remember Solyndra, the uh, back in uh, with part of the stimulus money from 2009, uh, the big uh, solar firm that went bankrupt. I think we're going to have a lot of stories like that this time around. It's just going to take some time. They're going to come out. But that's what you get when you when you're trying to rush billions of dollars into the economy. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.